good y'all runs here today's soap review features talbot shaving gates of the arctic talbot shaving is uh one of the most widely known artisans hobbyist artisans in the uh, wet shaving space based out of chicopee massachusetts this artisan uh, focuses on uh, supporting the trust for public land by making a donation of one dollar per jar for every soap sold as well as one dollar per jar for every aftershave sold um, with the uh, purchase of soaps and aftershaves exclusively through West Coast Shaving. Gates of the Arctic is the uh, next upcoming scent uh, by Talbot Shaving and is aimed to uh, replicate Alaskan summer. This project has been in uh, the works for quite some time. An anonymous friend approached Chad to uh, build this scent and then uh, another friend Josh Newt who many of you know from the community uh, jumped in to uh, help out as well based on his uh, growing up in Alaska. As I understand the uh, soap is on its way to West Coast Shaving and then a launch date will be announced here in the uh, coming week or two so keep your eye out for Talbot Shaving's Instagram and Facebook page for a, an official announcement of the uh, drop date. Gates of the Arctic is named for the National Park which resides completely in the Arctic Circle. As such it features notes of grass, cedar, eucalyptus, pine, ozone, birch, and florals. This is a very clean, fresh scent that will remind you of fields and streams and snow-capped mountains. Arguably one of uh, Talbot Shavitz, Shaving's best scents to date, uh, in my estimation. This is a uh, masculine, outdoorsy scent that I think quite a few people will uh, want to uh, get behind, given the time of year and the uh, fresh cleanness of it with the outdoors aspect. Uh, it's been quite a pleasure to use this. Surprisingly, despite it being outdoorsy, Mrs. Rudds is neutral on this scent. Um, she approves it for casual use and uh, nothing more. Doesn't find it sexy or wearable on a date, uh, but that was to be expected based on the uh, scent profile. Scent strength on this is mid-strong off of the container and remains mid-strong once lathered. And something that's somewhat similar available in wet shaving uh, by my recollection is the uh, Chiseled Face Grumatorium Summer Storm. So you'll probably recall from previous Talbot shaving reviews that this is a tallow-based soap. As always, we will list the ingredients below for you to uh, take a peek at. The soap is on the uh, firmer side, on the firmness spectrum. But really loads effortlessly into the brush fiber of your choice. This is one of the uh, easiest lathering soaps that I uh, am aware of. Um, I typically equate elite soap bases with requiring a bit of work, but Talbot shaving uh, is not that way. It is thirsty, um, but doesn't require a whole lot of effort to really dial it in. And when you do dial it in, you'll find the uh, leather takes on the consistency of Greek yogurt. Very dense, low volume, iridescent sheen to it. Slickness, both primary and residual, are elite. It's been in the conversation with the uh, slickest soaps around for quite some time now. Post shave is also elite. 
this is the type of soap base that you can uh, just rinse your face. Perhaps put some of the leftover lather on your face and rub it in and uh, be done with it. Your skin will be left soft, supple, silky, and well hydrated. Given my experience with this soap base and the metrics we just discussed, the shave score for Talbot shaving is a 97. 97 is uh, one of my highest scores and puts it in an elite class with soaps such as Ariana and Evans and Barrister and Mann. You guessed it, drama free face and dome shave today with Talbot shaving Gates of the Arctic. Uh, as mentioned in the scent review, uh, this is amazing. This is a really cool scent. Uh, probably some of Talbot Shaving's best work to date in terms of scent profiles. I think this will be widely loved by uh, the community. Do hope you'll have the opportunity to uh, grab one when it releases in the coming weeks from West Coast Shaving exclusively. Um, get ready, get all your information put in and uh, be ready to hit the purchase button when it drops. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.